In the Gospel of Mark, it is encouraging to say, It is good to be with Jesus, and we can see Him in all His glory. The story of the Transfiguration is one of the important events of Jesus' revelation as the Son of God. It is about the appearance of Christ in radiant glory to the three of His disciples. Previously, Jesus mentioned His death and resurrection with the apostles, especially Peter, who could hardly understand. While they were praying, something extraordinary and wonderful event happened, and they witnessed the dazzling light in Jesus, and their spirit was once again lifted up. These disciples were very lucky to have witnessed this miracle from Jesus. The transfiguration of Jesus gives us a brief and transient glimpse of Jesus in all His glory. It is a taste to come. It is offered to us to encourage and challenge us in our daily lives to do well. It reminds us that our lives are far more than what we see, hear, and experience every day for as long as we are alive. This is one of the advantages of a believer, the opportunity to see the glory of God even in partial view. Anyone who has received the Holy Spirit will attest to feelings that one is on top of a mountain or on cloud nine, no matter how fast it happens that feelings may be. When you have that experience, we can say, like Peter, that it is good to be here. We must admit that our life as a believer is not like a magic carpet ride or flying like Superman. To attest that our Lord Jesus Christ is alive, it means to carry our cross as what Jesus did, all the way to Calvary. Our way to heaven as a believer is the cross. That is why even though we are on top of Mount Apuchao or any mountain we know, on top of it once in a while, experiencing real joy and peace, we will go down and live in the valley of tears and darkness most of the time. It is the valley where we are all transfigured, where the Lord transforms us painfully and joyfully at the same time. It is not just a matter of getting through the day. Being a follower of Jesus is about living with meaning, purpose, and hope. The transfiguration of Jesus not only offers us a sight of Jesus in all His glory, but it also offers each of us a preview of what God promises of us in the fullness of His kingdom. The process of transformation will only be successful and a lot easier if we constantly listen to God's beloved Son. Like the apostles, we may not totally understand what Jesus is trying to tell us, and we may not fully understand what is going on, but thanks to the story of the transfiguration. And we may ask why? It is because it gives us hope that as we journey through the ups and downs of life, we will one day see the full display of God's glory. On that day, we regain our very own image, the image of our Creator. We may never have knowledge of anything as powerful as the transfiguration. Every day in innumerable and seemingly small ways to God does break into our world and our daily lives. Every time we experience a moment of peace, joy, reconciliation, and forgiveness, God is with us. Every time that we reach out to help our brother or a sister is a moment of transfiguration both for ourselves and for those we were able to help. It's time somebody displays care and concern for us is a moment when God reaches out to us. From now on, let us open our hearts 
so that we may hear Jesus talking to us. May we slow down and look for moments of small but important times of transfiguration in our own ordinary daily lives. Lord, in everything we do, let us not others praise us, but you.